Hey guys, out in the shop again. Don't know what to do, so I did do a little project without filming it. Kind of ashamed to show it off, but whatever. Here, I'll get it. <laughs> and that looked terrible. I mean, I worked for two hours on that, and it came out. This is the bad side. Look at that. Just terrible. But at least I know now what I'm capable of with chain. Chain sucks. Let me tell you, it's hard to do. Horseshoes aren't much easier. So that is now hanging on the failure wall. <laughs> I've got a failure wall over there to remind me of what I'm, I need to work on, I need to practice, I need to try harder at. So, um, hopefully this doesn't end up over there, but right now, uh, hang on. <clears throat> I'm working on a horseshoe Christmas tree. Yeehaw! If you guys can see that or not, no you can't, you know, let me zoom in for you. So that's the top of it right here. And then I add more, well, where's the picture here, I'll show you. So this is what I'm making. And I honestly don't think I have enough horseshoes. By the way, I found horseshoes. Ones that aren't all mauled up or welded up or rusted up or anything. They're brand new for two dollars each at fleet so that'll add to the expense of the item but at least they'll look good they won't look like shit you know I don't know if I have enough I only bought three and I'm using the top half of it is an old horseshoe but it's it was in really good shape it didn't have any uh, of the weld or the rust on it so I'm going to use that as the top of the tree and um, go from there but right now I'm just fitting pieces and uh, I'm going to cut so I guess I would cut it right where it starts turning or like a right, right about there is where I'm going to cut it. And so if you look at it, there's like one, two, three, four, five horseshoes. And I've got four horseshoes all together in this tree. I don't know, maybe I can make it work. We'll find out. Uh, yeah. So, time to get busy.
Time to clean. Well, I got it all ground down, and uh, I'm just looking, comparing the picture back and forth here, and I think I'm gonna have to cut it down one more time. See, that looks cool. I like that though. Except for this, you know, I'd cut it off right here and right here. I like that. I'm going to take a, another horseshoe. Put it in the middle like that. Oh. And you cut it right here. Like there. And here. And then you take a little scrap piece of well, here. That's how you do the bottom. But I'm going to change it up, you know, so I'm not copying whoever did this entirely. Yeah, I gotta do some cutting here. Well, I was gonna plasma cut it, but I really don't want to. Because I'll just miss the line or I'll melt away too much. So I'm gonna use the one tool I hate using even more than. No, it's pretty much the tool I hate using the most. And that would be. The handheld grinder. I think that's everything. Let's piece it together here.
Well, I thought they'd be closer here. They're supposed to be like that. Just have to grind some of it away. I'm gonna move this so it doesn't get screwed up because it vibrates like crazy. I think that looks pretty good. Hopefully I can get some good welds, you know. I'm just marking the spots where they're going. Now the bottom part. that needs to be welded on and it's just gonna make it a mess if I gotta try and fill that gap so I'm gonna try and pound them in so I can you know fill that gap essentially Just because it's easier that way, I'm just gonna maybe spot weld them. I'm not sure. Yeah. See that okay?
Looking good. Hmm. What happened here? Now I gotta get the bottom ready. Okay, I gotta start the forge back up.
before I was so rudely interrupted with John, he just came over and, uh, well, needless to say, we ended up back in the woods cutting more trees. I've been out there for the last, well, two and a half hours, maybe more, I'm not sure. And, uh, so it's dark out and I'm still not done yet. So I figure I only got um, a stand left to make and uh, then I'll weld it all together and then I'll clean it up. So I guess let's get started. I'm going to start making the stand and um, then yeah, I'm going to finish up the stand first and then I'll weld the tree together and then I'll put them I'll combine both of them, I think. I don't know if I should, uh... If I should weld the tree up. And then, uh, stand. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna weld the tree up right away because it's already on the on the plate where I weld, and um, that way I ain't gotta move it or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna do the tree first.
Finish her up. Okay, let's see if they held. Looks good, guys. Looks good. Right, let's go cool her off. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna do the base. Um, I'm going to do this. Uh, <laughs> just trying to figure, figure out how to put the ground on. Damn it. Okay guys, so I'm in the house and I got done with the um, tree about, what time is it? Uh, 9.25, so I got done about 7.30 or so. And um, yeah, I threw it up on the internet, like that, sold. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And uh, yeah, so take a look, let me know what you guys think. There she be. And I did grind all the welds off. I ground them down, I should say. It's not like, you know, perfect, but it's pretty good for an amateur welder at that. This part right here is was hard. You can see that. I can knock it that clean. 
and then I used the horseshoe and, um, that had the traction still on them yet, just to add a little bit of character to it. So yeah, here's the back of it. So yeah. That was kind of hard to do to get that to sit flat, um, but kept grinding and grinding and grinding until it fit just perfect. And uh, yeah, there she be. That is nice. Yeah, I sold it to one of my old buddies that I grew up with. So I saw it on Facebook and he's like, I like it and how much? I told him I wanted about a hundred for it. And he said, well, he's like, I don't know, that's kind of steep. And I'm like, well, hang on. I'm like, you're an old friend. I said, make me a fair offer. So he offered me 75 for it. And I was like, let's do it. So yeah, tomorrow I sell it. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a couple more of them. I think just because they, it sells so quick. And we could really use the money right now. So, uh, and I've got other ideas. Plus, this guy Steve that bought the owl has got plans for me to make some stuff for him. So, looks like I'm going to be keeping busy. Which is good because I like to be out there and I like to be busy and I like to weld and work with the metal. And, you know, I'm doing something constructive with my time. So, I'm okay with that. But, alright guys, I'm going to call it a night and throw this video up real quick. And I will see you guys on the next one.